Hey guys, it's Chris with another episode of Homes in 5 and today I'm just going to be teaching you how to put the CXMB plugin on your custom firmware PSP. Now this is specific to the 6.0, 6.60 custom firmware and you need to be running either Pro B9 or 10 or the 6.60 ME or LME firmware. So once you have that firmware installed onto your PSP, you're going to need to download the two links in the description here. These are the main ones you'll need. The first one being the CXMB plugin which is essential and then there are 48 CTF themes you can actually install once you've got the plugin on there. Um, to extract these you will need WinRAR or 7zip, they will be in the description as well, you can pick either one of those. Okay, now once you've downloaded them all, I've just extracted mine to the desktop here just to keep things nice and simple. And to basically put everything on your PSP, the important part is to have the USB plugged in via the USB. So I'm just going to go to USB connection and plug that in and it'll pop up on my computer. So open to view files and sorry, I'll just move you just to keep things organized and easy to see to the side actually I'll flick it to the side like I did before and what you're going to need to do is open up the CXMB folder that you downloaded before and you're going to need to copy the CXMB folder that you get in the download to the root of your memory stick don't worry about the VSH unless you don't have one but I'll show you where to put that later so just copy that to the root of your memory stick. So if you don't know where the root of your memory stick is, I know that some people get confused. To avoid that confusion, I'm in my computer. You need to go to the memory card or the PSP there and that's it. I'm in the root of the memory stick right now. Avoid that confusion. Once you're done, um, open up that and you're going to need to get the CXMB PRX and I'm just going to cut that and you need to paste it into the SE plugins folder which is just in here. Okay, this is where that VSH um, file comes into play sorry so if you don't already have a VSH you, you will need to copy and paste that into your SE plugins folder otherwise if you've already got a VSH file open it up and you just need to copy this text line which will be in the description into your sorry um, into your VSH text so paste that a number one means the PRX is activated by the way and the zero means it's deactivated I also know that the PSP Go has a different starting line, so I will include the VSH for the PSP Go in the description too. I'm just going to control S that and close it. And okay, so everything in the plugin section is done. The next step is to install the theme on your PSP. So you need to go to the PSP folder and then theme. Okay, that's where all of your CTF themes will go. I'm not going to put all 48 on there because it's a big download. Minimize that, but I will close that and open up the 48 themes and just uh, let's see I don't know uh, we'll go to custom XMB white we'll do that one just go copy and paste there we go so that's installed on my PSP I'll close off my themes I'll close off the PSP there and I'm just gonna quit out of USB mode and what I will do is go to the themes and see what happens when I actually go to install the theme and if all went well then this should work and I'm pretty sure the PSP will restart if not, ah oh, there we go, phew, I was going to look stupid for a second there did it work? yeah there we go, so now everything looks real nice and fancy I'm not going to do this in the um, in Remote Joy Lite, I didn't really want to record it in there because it's confusing with the USB, but as you can see, and hopefully here, I'll just, oops, I'll turn the volume up, there you go, the volume's up all the way, it's got all the custom noises, and we're done, it is very, very simple, a incredibly user-friendly way to customize your PSP, and I would not recommend using this at the same time as the custom wave tutorial that I used. I'm pretty sure the two will clash and it may muck up your PSP, it may result in a brick. So either the CTF or the CXMB plugin or the custom waves. Don't use them at the same time because things may get messy. Um, anyway, this has been another episode of Homes in 5. Comment, rate, subscribe, do all the cool stuff. Um, not rate, comment, like, subscribe because I realize that you can't rate anymore. Um, feel free to check out my Facebook, Twitter, and my Google Plus in the description, and the page designer who also designed, designed sorry, this lovely background that I've got here. That will be on my t-shirts that I will be designing, 
and uh, printing out hopefully in the coming month or two. They're a bit expensive though. So if you want one, leave a comment and I will get back to you. Anyway, this has been another episode of Homes of Five. Bye-bye.